hi uh, welcome to this video on packet tracer activity uh, access control list demonstration in this activity uh, we are going to verify local connectivity and test access control list then we will remove the access control list and we will repeat uh, this uh, local connectivity again first of all we will come to part two one uh, verify local connectivity and uh, test access control list uh, ping devices on the local network to verify connectivity from the command prompt of pc1 ping pc2 yes here we can see pc1 and pc2 we are going to ping from pc1 to this pc pc2 first of all we will get the ip address of pc2 Yes, here it is. Now we will go to PC1 command prompt. Here we are going to ping to PC2. Here is IP address of PC2. Here we can see we are getting the reply. Now we are going to uh, ping from PC1 to PC3. Here we can see the IP address of PC3. Or even we can go through a command prompt here we are going to give IP config here we can see the IP address of this uh, device we'll come to PC 1 again we'll ping to PC 3 we are waiting for the reply Yes, we are getting the replay. Now here they ask, why were the ping successful? Obviously, we configured, uh, I mean already configured uh, everything here in this topology. And uh, uh, layer 1 through 3 are fully functional. And also obviously we can say there is no policy currently filtering ICMP messages uh, between uh, the two local networks. Now we will go to uh, step 2, ping devices on remote networks to test a CL functionality uh, from the command prompt of PC1, ping PC4. Okay, we are going to ping from this PC1 to this uh, remote network. We got a server, DNS server and we are going to ping to this server. Also, we are going to ping from PC1 to uh, PC4 also. First, we will get the IP address of PC4. So, here is IPv4 address. Now, we will come to PC1, command prompt. And here we are going to ping to this PC4. And here we can see uh, destination host unreachable we will get the IP address of this uh, DNS server yes here it is we'll come to PC1 command prompt and we will ping it ping to the server we can see destination host unreachable yes so uh, we ping from pc1 to pc4 also from pc1 to a dns server uh, why did the pings uh, fail i uh, use simulation mode or view the router configurations to investigate yes we will come to r1 and we will verify that enable we will give show access list and here we can see uh, configured with an ACL uh, also we can see show running config yes here we can see the ACL also we will see the interface it's yes it's ideal here we can see IP access group 11 out this interface 
Yes, here the pings fail because R1 is configured with an ACL to deny any ping from exiting the serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 interface. Yes, here we have seen that. Here we can see that interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. Yes. Now we will come to part 2. Uh, remove ACL and repeat a test. Uh, use the show commands to investigate the ACL configuration. Uh, use the show run and show access list command to view the currently configured ACLs. To quickly view the current ACLs, uh, use the show access list. Enter the show access list command uh, followed by a space and a question mark to view the available options. Yes, so here uh, they are given already show access list then question mark. So we get these uh, commands. We will verify this now. We will come to R1. Okay. So here we are going to give show. Okay. Access list then question mark. Yes, here we can see. 1 to 199 ACL number or ACL name we can give. Okay, right. Now I am going to press enter here after this show access list. And here we can see uh, standard IP access list 11. And here we can see only one uh, ACL. Yes, here we can see if you know the ACL number or name. We can filter the show output further. Yes, here as we have seen from 1 to 199 or if, if you know the ACL name, yes, we can uh, filter it. However, R1 only has one ACL, right? Therefore, the show access list command will suffice, right? So, already we have seen this. Okay, you know, the first two line of the ACL, here you can see the first two line, uh, DNA and the uh, IP address, okay, right. Uh, prevents any packets originating in the 192.168.10.0/24 network, yeah, uh, which includes Internet Control Message Protocol, that is ICMP, a course a ping request. The second line, here you can see uh, permit any of the ACL allows all other IP traffic from any source to trans travel transfers the router. Here they give some more points so for an ACL to impact a router operation. It must be applied to an interface in a specific direction. Yes, we have seen that. In this scenario, the ACL is used to filter traffic exiting an interface therefore all traffic leaving the specified interface of r1 will be inspected against acl 11. okay we can uh, view ip information using show ip interface command also uh, it will be more efficient if you use uh, simply show running config right using one or both of these commands uh, to which interface and direction is the acl applied Right, already we have seen, but uh, we will give once more this. Uh, coming to here, we will give uh, show running config, and here we can see the interface, the direction we can see. Yes, here we can see IP access group 11 out, and it is given to the interface serial uh, 0 slash 0 slash 0, and we can see this is out, that is outgoing traffic. Now we will go to uh, step 2. Remove access list 11 from the configuration. You can remove ACLs from the configuration by issuing the no access list, then a number of uh, the ACL command. The no access list command deletes all ACLs configured on the router. The no access list uh, number of the ACL command removes only a specific ACL. Okay, either we can use this uh, number or without number we can use. If you are using without number, uh, all the access list will be uh, deleted, whatever we configured. Right. So, under the serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 interface, uh, remove access list 11 previously applied to the interface as an outgoing filter. So, here they are given, uh, we have to go to the interface uh, serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 and we have to uh, remove uh, no uh, IP access group 11 out. Also in global configuration mode we have to remove the ACL by entering the following command no access list 11. Yeah. 
then we have to verify that PC1 can now ping the DNS server and PC4. Right, we will do this configuration. Uh, we will remove the success list 11 now. Coming to R1, CLI, enable configure terminal, and we have to go to the interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0. And here we are going to give no IP access group. Then we have to specify the number that's 11 and it's uh, outbound so we have to specify out okay now we will exit and we will remove access list 11 using no access list then the number 11 right now we are going to ping from pc1 to uh, pc4 and dns server uh, we will get the IP address of PC4. So, here we will give IP config and I will copy this IP address here. Right. We will come to PC1 and we will ping to this. Ping and here is the IP address of PC4. Yes, here we can see now it is communicating. Now we will get the IP address of uh, uh, this DNS server. Okay, here is the IP address. Okay, we will go to PC1 or even we can go to PC2 because it is in the same uh, subnet. Okay, we will give server ip address yes we can see it is communicating with the server also yes so that's all in this packet tracer activity that is access control list demonstration friends uh, if you have any doubt uh, please comment below also if you like my videos give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you will get latest uploading video information in your gmail thank you